Hi, I wanted to give you a little introduction before I play at home. And for those of you that might not have seen the teaser, this was a birthday present from my husband Andy Wagoner um, back in April. So we'd been in lockdown for just over a month and I came downstairs in the morning and I found this beautiful manuscript on the island in the kitchen. There's a lovely opening theme I wanna play for you but I'm gonna play the version that comes at the end of the piece, uh, which is where it's played in harmony. And so you'll hear that top theme in the very opening of the piece. What happens is it sort of expands and contracts and although it starts out very beautiful and full like life can be and then becomes rather sweet all this time together it gets a little gnarly in the middle things things come into conflict these materials of the music come into conflict with one another and that's a little bit like things have been too. But that's life and will end with this beautiful, peaceful statement.
Here's, a, here's a, some mallet instruments, the xylophone and the glockenspiel, a collection of snare drums. Um, the snare drum, that's the instrument that opens bolero, right? And correct. And you, you yes. play it all the way through for the whole 20 minutes of that piece. Yeah. So, and that they, piece, the challenge with that, that is not, the challenge is not, it's a very easy part. The challenge is it's in your mind to be able to... Yeah be consistent yep. and not space out. <laughs> <You're right>. um, <laughs> yeah. One of the beauties of being in, in this area is that the gifts are that there are many, many wonderful musicians in New York City, in Westchester, yes. in New Jersey, in Connecticut, in Pennsylvania, you know, in this, what, what maybe what I should call the I-95 card or kind of thing. And, you know, if you got a car, get in it and get up here because I need you. We need you. <laughs> yep. And yep. the beauty of it is they want to play with the Stanford Symphony. So it's not like pulling teeth, you know. Yes. You yep. know, everybody knows that when they come to play with us, they're stepping into a phenomenally, a phenomenal orchestra. And not phenomenal just because of the artistic uh, result of what we do each day. But phenomenal for the camaraderie, for the level of care that everybody has for each other, for the seriousness of the intent of all the musicians when they sit down and they come to a rehearsal. And, and I think that each of us knows deep down inside of all of us that here we are, we're pursuing our passion. I did bump into Neil Diamond though once on a plane. Uh-huh. And I stopped while I was going back to the back of the plane and he was in his first class seat. Um, I stopped, I, you know, just, wow, it's Neil Diamond. And I said, I just want to let you know, I'm actually a pretty successful trombone player. And I play trombone because of you. And he looked really, he looked really frightened. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. That's great. Take, take us back into the history of the trombone because it's got a very long lineage, hasn't it? It does. The trombone was conceived as a perfect instrument back in 1400, so didn't really need much alteration over the years like most other instruments.
Greetings, everybody, from the Upper West Side of Manhattan. I want to thank you for supporting the Stanford Symphony, and I look forward to seeing you all in person. I want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day and tell you a little bit about the music I'm playing today. The first piece I'm playing for you is Debussy's Syrinx. It's one of the pieces I have played for a long time. It's what made me fall in love with the flute. And I'll tell you a little of the story of Syrinx. Syrinx is a wood nymph, and she's being chased by the god Pan. And he cuts off the reeds where she's hiding and makes it into the Pan pipes. And it's a beautiful melody. And Debussy's music is modern, but so colorful and one of my favorite composers. I hope you enjoy this piece. The second piece you'll be hearing is a piece by Valerie Coleman called Danza de la Mariposa, which translates Dance of the Butterflies. Valerie Coleman is a great composer, and she also happens to be a flutist. She started the group the Imani Winds, and they have played all over the world, won so many awards, and she is one of the foremost composers right now in the world. I really enjoyed learning the piece this summer, and I recorded it when I was in Maine for this summer. The piece is lyrical, it's based on South American tunes, it's rhythmic, it's jazzy, and it has these extended techniques we call on the flute, where you'll hear me overblowing into the flute, you'll hear me singing into the flute, but you'll also hear me play some really beautiful South American tunes. I hope you enjoy this piece, Danza de la Mariposa. <laughs> 